of Little Workroom Crafts, episode 11. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is the 12th of February 2020. We have got a beautiful day here at the moment. After the storm we had at the weekend, it is a pleasure to see a bit of sunshine. It's still cold though, but we are all preparing for another storm this weekend. But, you know, that happens this time of year. So today I have quite a bit to talk about. I have my knitting, I have my cross stitch, um, I also have a bit of sewing, um, dressmaking as well as um, patchwork and um, I have some other little bits and bobs to mention as well and also I, um, I have uh, what I found in my charity shop <laughs> for my workroom. <laughs> so okay then, I think we'll just hop right in. Okay, first of all, we'll start with the knitting. And with them, I've noticed over the years before I started podcasting that some podcasters, they do um, a word for the year. And I couldn't think of one at all. I really couldn't. So um, last year, I decided that I, um, within the crafts that I am involved with, I set myself a challenge. So for instance, last year, I did uh, Steakin'. Um, which was a lot of fun, I will say. It's, it's a bit strange, you know, putting your um, your cardigan out, well, your piece um, on on a table and getting a mat or something in between and cutting up your hand knit. It seemed a bit weird, but it was so much fun and I would definitely do it again. And I also challenged myself to um, uh, knitting in the round with colour work and uh, I did a lot more than that that I would normally do so I you know I, I did set myself some challenges this year I would like to do some brioche I've never ever tried brioche and that's why I would like to do the expiration station by my favourite designer Stephen West and uh, because it's got a little bit of brioche in it not too much I don't think that will scare me and it's in his first book which is where the uh, pattern that I have is in he does do a little section with um, explaining on how to do uh, you know the the brioche which I thought was very handy and also um, I've had a couple of other new challenges that have come my way um, to be honest with you unexpectedly but I've gone for them because that you know that's what I like to do so um, the first one is I um, entered my first cow and knit along and um, Ellie from Craft House Magic, she has um, launched um, a, a cow and uh, you can take part on her Instagram or on, in her Ravelry. Um, I chose to do it in the Instagram because I've been a member of Ravelry for a long time now, but I really don't know, you know, much about using it, to be honest, but I'll get there. <laughs> Just about buy patterns. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but the cull is is really good. And uh, I did it and I have finished the piece. Um, it isn't finished yet. She hasn't, I can't remember when her deadline is, but she hasn't finished um you know closed it off yet but the curl is oh, oh sorry i've got me oh, oh me ball band right then is the right around the corner um shawl by lisa haynes i did show that i'd started this last um last month uh, last month when i um did a podcast brilliant pattern i would recommend this pattern to anybody even to beginners who would like to knit a shawl it's all garter stitch and it's so easy to do as long as you can do garter stitch you can make one you're fine really yeah i think that was it but honestly amazing absolutely amazing right then so this is my shawl my finished piece it's a big shawl it's um two skeins but i have uh, already blocked it and worn it a couple of times and it is a pleasure i will definitely definitely be knitting another one of these definitely and you know I've, it's the first time i've ever put tassels on anything as well so that was nice so the yarn i used the um limey green because it is a little bit more limey green than what is showing really um is vulvine and it's footsy and it's her succulents okay and i am a 
really annoyed at myself because I always keep my ball bands, but I really don't know what I've done with this one. I've misplaced it. But this, I, and oh, I will say, I'll go back to the Vulavine actually. I used every single piece of yarn out of that skein. You know, they were both 100, 100 gram skeins. And, um, but yeah, I just had enough for the tassel. Just had enough, which is <laughs> very lucky, really. And um, with this one, this is Ellie from Craft House Magic. As I say, I've lost my ball band. And oh, you watch, she's going to turn up now. I can see it. And uh, this is her, oh, Purple Rain. Purple Rain, because her themes go on 80 songs. So it's Purple Rain, and this one's got Stellina in it. Lovely, lovely yarn to work with. Very, very soft. And this I will definitely be um, using for a um, a toe and a heel or something in a pair of socks. So I've got more, more out of uh, this one, which I'm really pleased with. But yes, definitely, definitely go with that. Definitely. Right then. And as I said, when it comes to my challenges, I uh, my I've met this lovely lady, Emma, um, through um, my YouTube channel and um, she contacted me at the weekend asking me if I'd like to take part with her and we will both be test knitters. And I thought, well, something I've never done before. Why not? So, um, yeah. Um, so I, I said, yeah, OK, we'll do it. You know, why not? So uh, she's already done hers, bless her, and it's lovely. Her her, her test knit's lovely. Um, I'm a little bit behind because I had to get the yarn. Uh, it's done in Aran, and I didn't have any Aran yarn in the house at all. <laughs> I'm normally a DK or mainly a four ply or a finger in. So it's you know I didn't have any Aran. So yesterday when I was at work, I got some Aran yarn, and um. I, I thought, why not? So it's a lovely pattern. I will say it is available on the um, uh, on the young lady's um, uh, Ralvery. And um, so now Emma and I are test knitters uh, for Messy Maker's Mind. She also has a YouTube ch channel. So go over and have a look. She's it's lovely. It really is a lovely one. And um, the um, pattern is Messy Columns Cow. And that's... The, ca the cowl very nice and with it being an Aaron it's nice and you know nice and cozy around the neck and uh, her name is Liv Liv um, is lovely lady as I say please go over and have a look it's messy maker's mind I'm hoping I haven't managed to work out yet how to do links um, but everything I mention I will put down in the description box there just won't be links to it unfortunately because I haven't got that far yet <laughs> so um, yeah so yeah definitely definitely go and have a look and um i will definitely have this finished ready for my next one so also in the knitting if you remember last year angie and i did a lot of traveling we went to edinburgh and it doesn't seem possible that it's nearly a year ago we were there and because i still think about it we had such a lovely time and then we went to yarndale which was amazing we had a bit of a mishap with the weather but it was still beautiful and um and then we went to the alley pally about a week and a half later well while we were at um yarndale um i watch um the green bean podcast which if anybody don't watch that oh you just sit there and you chill and she's got a little dog jack and he's just so cute and um yeah and a designer i love her stuff i've knitted her socks because she does the um uh, is, is, is the green bean she calls it a zine because it's like a little magazine and it's, it's got a pattern in it and that and it's lovely and um, anyway she was launching her um scruffs pattern at yarndale and i said to Anne, just said I, i've seen it on her podcast and i would just love to get it so anyway i got the yarn went over and got the pattern from katie and um and got some needles and literally at the cottage that we were staying in, i started it the first night <laughs> <laughs> we come back from the show had tea got it right on the needles <coughs> oh excuse me and um i um i've done the back i've done the two fronts because i did them bits first because they were just like plain knitting and this was kind of another one of my challenges because i hadn't knitted um a garment in the flat for years you know i'd knit them in the round and when I was younger in the 70s and the 80s, you kind of just, you know, because I was only in my teens and that, I was just knitting, knitting up garments, over sewing them together, you know, and I think, oh, dear me. 
so um the thing is i would like to do with this one this is the one of the another reason why i brought it is i'm gonna after blocking it i'm gonna learn how to sew it all together the right way um so this is obviously another challenge so as i say i've done all the main pieces let me get the pattern out and show you so this is the pattern book because you get a little book and this is all her illustrations and one of these down here i that one there that's her jack and um yeah so if you notice you've got the plain back plain front and then the colour work, which I'll show you in a minute on the sleeves, and then colour work band, and then you've got like little um like intarsia dog pockets. And in the book you get um um a, a graph for one dog, and then in the back of the book you get a, a code to go onto a Ralvary and download all the rest of the, the um the dogs. So I've done that and I've picked the dog, I've got all my colour work um uh, for my dog ready because I brought all that while I was there as well but honestly it's a beautiful it's it's more than a pattern because you just want to keep looking at it all the time it's lovely right then so this is my sleeve and this is the colour work I have enjoyed this so much just round the bottom of the cuffs and then as I say this is all the way up the front it's the top and the bottom of the pockets and then you've got the dog in the middle so I've all I've got to do is finish this sleeve do the other sleeve and then um I've saved the pockets till last because that is going to be my favorite bit because I thought <laughs> you end on with something that you, you know you can't wait to do um so yeah I'm really hoping to have this done in the next couple of months I really am um oh yeah yeah I just can't put it down can't put it down right then so I think that's everything yarn it is right then getting back to my friend Emma um she saw that um in December I gave Ellie at Craft House Magic uh yeah when we met up um for Barbara's day out in December we had a Christmas party there was loads of us that did it and it um I gave her a you know a little a little Christmas present so you know because she she'd have put a lot of work into organizing all these for us so um i made her a project bag and emma had seen the project bag that i'd made um via ellie and asked me if i'd make one for her she gave me a color theme of pinks and um purples because they are her two favorite colors and she also has said that i'm allowed to um show it on my podcast so this is what I've made. That's the patchwork. And then on the back, I cross hatched in variegated quilting thread. And then in the inside, there is a little lilac pocket. And it's got a box bottom and a drawstring so thank you ever so much emma for asking me to do this for you it will be in the post very very soon and i'll be popping in some other little bits and bobs for you as well so thank you ever so much also um i uh crochet but as i have not shown any crochet on here since i started but i've been crocheting literally all my life um i am a left-hander so i knit left-handed i sew you name i do everything left-handed except for my crochet because when i was i couldn't I can't even remember being taught i was that young so when um i asked a member of my family how i know how to crochet apparently my nan um she was crocheting because she brought me up you see she was crocheting and i was sat on the floor surrounded by cushions to keep me up because i was only you know not even a year old and um i looked up at her and that was in she thought i was interested so she picked me up put my hand over hers like so and um i got the movement and that i crochet right-handed then when i picked up a pen <laughs> years older <laughs> um, uh, and i'm left-handed apparently she sat there and went oh no what have i done <laughs> so, um but it's really weird you know when i was teaching crochet before my legs went on me 
um i um i still pick up the hook with my left hand to put it in my right to crochet because that's the side that, that, that naturally goes um anyway that is you know i'm diversing now but um yeah you know that that is something that my nan personally really did pass on to me so uh, yesterday on the way home from work i was sat on the bus and i was going through instagram as you do and um this um lady that i follow on instagram she's called sweet pea family crochet and she had actually got this pattern um it's a granny square but it's different and i thought oh i've not tried that before so i went and uh, my friend is due uh, her first baby in may and i thought oh this would be ideal a blanket and it's called the granny heart blanket and i love the center look at the um the heart in the center i just think that is beautiful so i can't decide whether to do as is or to do four squares and join them together so they've got four hearts in the middle i can't decide yet um it's done in stylecraft um special which i love i do have a big stock of um of that i started collecting that you know as the new colors come in and so on because I think it's perfect for wear and wash for blankets. I just crochet blankets with it. But within this pattern, you have actually got the colours that she used. You've got all the, there's four pages. You've even got the border. And this pattern cost me £1.25. You can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. I would definitely advise to do this. So go into Instagram, go into her Sweet Pea Family Crochet and obviously on her um, uh, page, go into the link and there is all her patterns. Now, the Crochet Heart Blanket is the one at the top. OK, and I would definitely advise it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's done in a DK, so it will grow nicely. And um, yeah, it really just stood out to me. It really did. So I'm definitely going to be making this um, blanket. Right. Ooh, excuse me there you go sit up a bit straighter that was, was lotion um but yeah it's sue rawlingson i don't know if i've said that as the designer but yeah definitely give it a go um i've read through it and it, it's, it reads up lovely but um one pound 25 what, what more can you say really what more can you say anyway that is all the fiber related and yarn related so as uh, you probably can see there's a sleeve here <laughs> um last month i did um i made another merchant meals uh the dress shirt pattern now this is the second one i am um, angie and i brought this pattern from um yarndale again and and i will say again because i i said last year when i actually um first said about this pattern and i'll say it again anybody that watches or anybody that knows anybody that's got this pattern please do not go for the measurements here they're then they just don't work you know when it comes to the 18 here it's so tiny it's unbelievable go inside and it's either on the um instruction sheet or the pattern sheet there is the real measurements i don't know why they've done it like that i really don't because it's supposed to be an oversized dress and it, that actually nearly brought us off um because i said to angie I said their measurements ain't right definitely not right i said they're way too small and luckily the lady came over and she said yes yeah, she said they're in the inside and i said thank you for letting us know otherwise we wouldn't have brought one each so very um brilliant pattern to follow absolutely brilliant and um i have made some changes on my second one let's bring let's bring um Flo in right let's see if i can get her in right okay on this as you can see let's see if i can get her a bit more there we go that's a bit better there is um checks and i did manage to get them lined up which i was so gee chuffed with and also i'm a great believer in um you know facings and stuff like that i'm not going to buy extra expensive fabric i always use a cheaper fabric or one i've got in my stash because who's going to see it right now it comes to the changes i have added pockets into this one which i love pockets in my garments i really do if i can manage to pop them in i will do it also i have done a belt and i i pulled it in a bit at the back um, I've done all the rest the same and the other um, 
difference that I've made in it is the sleeves. You get two sleeves uh, within the pattern. You get a three quarter and you get a short. But the short is like a short sleeve shirt where it's got a turn in. Where I um, didn't have enough because of obviously matching the checks. And I weren't going to buy another 30, 40 centimetres, you know, just for to make a sleeve and a turn in. So what I did is I just stopped them, you know, just didn't put a turn in on them and made them a little cropped. Um, it's still come to here. You know, so um, and I have done this in a more of a woven fabric, so it is more autumn winter. Where my other one is uh, a linen, which you know you can, um, I can wear any time of year. But I love this, and when I make more of these, which I definitely am going to, I will definitely be putting the pockets in, and I'll definitely be doing the belt um, again. Um, yeah, the pockets. What I did is I got the. Um, the bottom of, let me see, yeah. Oh, there you go, it's a bit better. The bottom of the pleat here, I went across, and that's where I actually placed the the pocket um, down. And the pocket was just one that I've had in another pattern, really, and that I like and popped in. But um, yeah, um, definitely um, enjoyed making this. I love wearing it and we'll be making more right let's move her over there without her falling over <laughs> right then so that's basically my two sewing is the project bag and my dress okay now we'll go over to the cross stitch right really excited um as you all know i am doing the hands-on designs year of celebration I'm loving this. This is one of them that I got for Christmas and Glenn got me this one. And so far I have done. Where are you? You've, you've seen January. You see that last month. Now I've done February. And, 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 and. I have nearly finished March. <laughs> so i have been um you know thinking about the finishes uh, and all that lot and i've been down to my local um independent pound shop and collecting more paints so now i've got a tub of them where before i just had a couple of bottles and um yes and i've also been doing getting oh sorry about the rattle been getting some embellishments to put on because originally, oh, I, my friend Gary did me this board, didn't he? Because I did show you. And what I was going to do is try and get a stand, put it on, and I was going to do the, you know, the magnet, which I'm still going to do, and then change him every month. So, but Glenn and I have come up with this idea, is using the board like this, painting it, I'm going to paint all this, and then in the middle... I'm going to glue that because that actually has 12 slots. So there's going to be one in use and then the other 11 standing behind. So I went down to, as I say, the local independent pound shop. And this is the board that I brought. It's a hanging board. I'll take the hanger off. Um, the same one as I got for my Santa. And um, I'll sand all this down and paint it. I can't, I've got to think of a design of what I'm going to do. And then put a magnet on it and decorate it all up and then it will stand like that with the cross stitch on the front of the month that it is and all the other 11 will be standing behind it so it's all compact and kept together which I like that idea so I'm going to stick with it as it is as I say I'm still I'm doing the cross stitches and then I think I'll get another couple more done and then I'll start doing you know the um the, the boarding them up with the mount board and so on I will say, um, when it comes to my finishes, and I know I've done a little thing on my Vlogmas, I, I've got to keep on mentioning, it's a Vaughn, where is it, it's written on here somewhere, there you go, Vaughn, Vaughna from the Twisted Stitcher, go and have a look at her tutorials, they are brilliant, and the idea she gives you is unbelievable, so I do like to mention her as much as I can. Okay, let's have a look down here. I think that is nearly everything. Right, there is one more thing I would like to say. 
I'm I've, I've been a quilter for over 25 years I yet again that was something I did used to teach before my legs went on me and um you know I loved it absolutely loved teaching you know that's how I met Angie that's how I met a lot of my friends and I've always used when it comes to wadding or batting the 80 20 which is 80 percent cotton 20 percent polyester it's a versatile wadding it's you know bags quilts wall hangings you name it it can be used for it well just lately i have um read and come across this well i don't know if it's new but it's new to me so anyway i've got some coming to me in the post and um, it's called 70 30 recycle hang on 70 30 eco super soft blend and it's done by i'm just reading here on my show notes um it's done by um so simple and it's 70 percent recycled cotton and 30 percent recycled polyester so obviously that as you know woo, uh, it really did um open my eyes and think oh yeah i'll never go at this so anyway i've got some coming in the post i'm going to um hand quilt some and machine quilt some and i'll show you what i do and i will give you an opinion an honest opinion on what i think but i'm really looking forward to this i really am so uh yeah i've just got to wait for the old postman to arrive <laughs> um with it and hopefully i'll have it all done by the next one um next podcast i am hoping to be podcasting every fortnight because a wednesday's a good day for me because i work tuesdays rest wednesday to work thursday so i'm really hoping that um on every fortnight from now i will be podcasting so um hopefully it will be arriving soon and i will have the two samples the hand and the quilt and the machine quilted and i'll let you all know um what i think of it and i haven't even felt it so i really don't know what it feels like and i will tell you the comparisons and so on so um yeah i'm um, you know bear with me on that one so as soon as it comes i will let you know right then so we have one more thing to go so which is what i found in my charity shop so i am going to pop a picture in here and let you know what i found hi you look really cute oh i love it absolutely love it it's a nice little set of drawers and um i washed them all down um i like the rustic look of my stuff um in my room so and it only cost me three pound fifty so uh, i had these two plastic things uh, plastic sets of drawers so i sorted them all out sent some stuff to charity shop and put some stuff in um and filled the drawer the, the yeah two drawers that are in there and um oh, i'm so pleased with it so pleased with it so uh, yep something else to go into my little workroom. <laughs> on my last podcast i have had somebody um ask me if i would do a tour of the little workroom and um explain how i fit so many different crafts in such a small little space so i'm hoping that I will we actually do that next week as an extra because as I say it's going to be like a fortnightly podcast so I'm hoping it will be next week will be an extra um and I will do a little tour um of how everything is um brought in here really and how I store all my little bits and bobs <laughs> so that'll be really fun um but I'll let everybody know when it when it goes up um live anyway I would like to say thank you ever so much to all you viewers that keep coming back and subscribing and um, um, liking and the lovely messages I keep getting. I really do like them. And hi to all the new ones. We are, I think the last time I looked a few days ago, I think we were about 11. I think it's about 11 away from 300 subscribers. So come on, you know, subscribe and um at 300 i'll do a uh, another giveaway why not you know it's, it's fun and let, let's do it <laughs> so okay then so i'd like to say thank you ever so much for everybody that um is keeping with me and happy crafting and i'll see you very soon bye